Get this done. No point in putting this off any longer. So listen, Abigail just told me the money, it's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah. So much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Are Abigail and Jack ready to leave? I think so. Okay. Whatever happens with this job today, <laughs> wherever Dutch and them go next, we're getting you the hell out of here. We're going to get you the money you need. Knowing the three of you got out, well, maybe all of this will still mean something. <laughs> Tilly and Susan, too. I'll do whatever it takes. You've always had my back, Arthur. Well, uh, perhaps not always. Anyway, here we go. One last train, Arthur. One last train. something different. Sounds about as good now as every time I heard it before. Oh, Abigail must be real excited. All packed up like she is. I could just see her in a little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Boys, boys, okay now, let's keep it down. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here. Nice and easy through town, fellas. Ah, Saint Denis. Good to be back. Happy memories, huh, John? Will you shut up, Mackin? That's enough. Quiet, all of you. Not much further now.
Cleet, Sadie, you board halfway along. John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest of you, follow Mike and I, and join once they stop the train. Here she comes. Should I just sneak on now? God damn it. Well, everybody mount up. We still going through with this? Of course we are. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. We got to get on that train.
move. Where's John? I tried. I tried. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. We had to run. Come on. Let's go. 
before another patrol turns up. Ha! Ha! a boat and tried for murder. I am sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. John's, uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. We got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice. Dutch, it's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, Micah. Uh, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he's right. Dutch! Come on, boys. Yeah! All them goddamn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Miss Tilly. Here. Take this. <clears throat> you take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. You're a good girl. You live a good life now, you hear? All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss... Me too, sweetheart. Me too. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler! Ride with me! If they're putting her on a boat, they'll probably dock at the north end of town. So I reckon we should go in the other way. Sure, I guess. I don't know. Goddamn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. Look! Now he don't care if he orphans his friend's child so long as he gets rich. All his goddamn talk all them years. Seems like it was always a lie. Or he went crazy. What a mess. Sure. Guess he began to believe he was God or something. I don't know. I'm sorry you got dragged into this. Into us. Listen, if you hadn't shown up in my house that night, I'd be dead. And even this bullshit beats dead. I thought. I could find a way to get John, Abigail, and Jack out of this mess. Give them a life. Seems I left it too late. If we could still get Abigail, maybe her and Jack will be okay. John, Hosea, Mac, Avi, Jenny, Sean, Lenny. We have to put an end to this. <coughs> And Eagle Flies, another angry fool he used just like he did with the rest of us. Like I said, Arthur, we don't need them. We're gonna make this right, me and you together. What's left of it? Now come on. Here we are. Let's 
ditch the horses and come up with a plan. How you feeling? I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover me. Please. Okay. Get.
Mr. Morgan. That's quite a cough. Sure. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. And you with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. But I'm gonna be just fine. We offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. You should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell? Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Using your strength, Mr. Morgan. You're still a yapping dog, Mr. Mill. Both of you. Find the horses. We need to get the hell out of here. What happened to Jack? Where is he? He's gone. Tilly's got him. Oh, thank God. John. Where's John? I, I don't know. Arthur, 
He... What? He got killed or he what? got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Listen. No. We got Jack. He's safe. <laughs> Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. Now, you gotta go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. What? Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat before I get much sicker. No, Arthur. Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. <laughs> You're good women, good people, the best. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in them caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. All our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. Abigail Roberts. It's packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Come on, all of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry, we ain't got long. Hurry. We just got plenty of time, Micah. Oh. We all need to have a little chat. Black Long, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> 
I just saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that. You rats. All of you. Seems old Mike was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. And you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No. It damn well doesn't. Dutch. Think. Dutch. Be practical now. Dutch! John? You left me. You left me to die. My boy. I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't... You! I didn't have a choice. You left me! All of you. You pick your side now because this is over. All them years, Dutch, for this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No. You be quiet, Mr. Bell, and put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming. Fast. <laughs> now! <laughs> Who amongst you <laughs> is with me? <laughs> And who is betraying me? Well, I'm here. Think. Think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying. Put your guns down! God damn it! Move! You ready, John? Yeah. Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead Land. Thank you, brother. I want you to not look back. Like I said. Look out! There's an army of these! 
sons of bitches. the money. Abigail gave me the key. I head down there, I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Uh, maybe you're right, but... <clears throat> you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. Arthur, just make the call. I'm coming with you. I'm gonna get you out of this bullshit if it's the last goddamn thing I do. Thank you. Oh shit! Let's go! We need to find higher ground! Don't worry about them! They'll just be... Going back to the money! We need to get the hell out of here! Get up this cliff. Here. Here you go. Come on, Arthur. Keep pushing. Look out. That's close. Get behind a rock. God damn it. They're everywhere. Get out. Arthur, come on, let's go! You go. Keep pushing, Arthur. No. <coughs> no. I think I've pushed all I can. Come on. You go. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them off. It would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother.
Peace.